What's going on? We back. It's the Boxer Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. Your boy CJ Goodfella. <clears throat> and we're talking about the perfect replacements for Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin if they choose not to uh, fight each other. Mostly on, or all on Golovkin's side because of the positive tests Canelo Alvarez had. And if his pump fake actually becomes a real shot and he really does bolt and want to do something else other than fight Canelo Alvarez, which I already expressed I can't see. I can't see happening, excuse me. Because of all the money on the table, but if he really feels a certain some type of way, and he wants something else, and negotiations and leverage, he ain't getting it from Golden Boy, and he wants to, you know, you know, split the part off, split the fight off, you know, what's a good replacement for both of these guys, you know, going forward? Um, I already know who the best replacement is for Gennady Golovkin. There's no secret. I've been pushing this guy uh, for quite some time, but for Canelo Alvarez, I think this is the absolute best uh, scenario for him right now at the weight, and you see it right here. Before we get into it. It have been some rumors and talks about uh, Canelo Alvarez potentially facing Andre Ward, which just sounds so crazy. I don't even believe that rumor. That's one of the craziest rumors I heard. It's the stupidest rumors. No way Andre Ward is, is coming back down to 68 or Canelo is coming back up to 68. It's not going to happen. So I'm squashing that right now. That's, that's not – now, if they say Golovkin and Andre Ward, then I probably still wouldn't believe it because Golovkin a bitch. But at the end of the day, um, I think Golovkin should go ahead and face Jamal Charlo, obviously. This is mandatory. Obviously, Billy Joe Saunders is tied up to April. I think Jamal Charles is supposed to come back April 21st. They could scrap that Hugo Centennial Jr. fight because um, it could have already happened. But Hugo injured his ribs or whatever it was, and they had to push it back to April 21st. And, you know, Golovkin and, 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 and Charlo, can, it can go down April 21st on, on Premier Boxing Champions, you know. Well, no, not that day because then it had to kick Broner and Vargas to the, to the, uh, off that card to somewhere else. So maybe HBO will be a proper date. Uh, probably May something. I don't know. Uh, May whatever the hell they want to do. Maybe uh, possibly, you know, Canelo can still fight on the pay-per-view card and they can stack it with Golovkin and, um, and um, you know, and Jamal Charlo, you know. But obviously you you get the gist of what I'm saying. They can push. They can just scrap their both fight dates and they can make a date in June or, or, or May or wherever they want to make it and they can, you know, knock that, that mandatory out. But we know... Gennady Golovkin and Abel Sanchez don't want that smoke with them Texas, that Texas boy, Jamal Charlo. That ain't what they want, but if they don't fight the Canelo, they should be forced to face the mandatory. And then fuck, 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 fuck that if I'm Jamal Charlo. I'm not stepping aside for shit. You know, I'm not stepping aside for shit because why would I step aside um, and take money when I, I, I want my opportunity? You know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know, this dude is available. I'm not about to let him go fight Billy Joe Saunders. And if I do, I need a million dollars for him to go fight Billy Joe Saunders to become undisputed the bypass me so i need my shot right now so if you can get get my shot right now you know let's do it that's the perfect scenario for him but we're talking about canelo alvarez i think Demetrius and andrade is the perfect perfect fight for him to come back against in my opinion i really do um i say that because uh i say that because you know andrade he wants a big shot you know he wants a big fight okay he really do he want a huge huge fight and and you know, uh, you know he don't want to he don't want to pay his dues on his way up. He don't want to fight the tough guys like Shizanko. He don't want to fight guys, you know that that like Charlo or Jacobs or whatever. It's an excuse, it's an excuse for fighting top guys, you know. So he don't want to fight those guys. So why not fight? You know, if you get a, a Canelo, you get a fight with Canelo. I know you've been a little bit inactive, but you fought last October. That's good enough. And go ahead and scrap Canelo. You know, you know why not? You know Canelo. You know really want to challenge, want to make a statement. Andrade seen as one of the most talented inactive fighters, but she's still talented. It was a fight. It didn't happen at 54, probably mostly because Andrade's uh, lack of activity, for real, for real. But um, why not? You know, Andrade, Canelo Alvarez, Golovkin, Jamal Charlo, they can do the same card, but both can easily be main events. And I think it'll be entertaining fights, you know, and then the winner of both can go ahead and rematch, you know, or fight each other, you know. That makes sense. If Canelo Golovkin do that and, and – Canelo continually continues to test clean and test negative for a signature ball with a clinical ball, whatever it was. Then Golovkin knows he's totally clean. There's no excuses, you know. After that, that's the good thing about taking a fight, you know, scrapping the, the Triple G and Canelo two rematch, you know, taking separate fights and then coming back and doing it again because you 100 percent sure Canelo Alvarez is clean if he continues to pass those drug tests. Um, you know, that's one of the positive things that can come out of this. But the one thing I do, I don't believe this fight is 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 not gonna be scrapped. I don't believe that. I believe this fight will continue to go on. They will continue to fight. It's too much money at stake. 
if can if, if Canelo wins, he in the lose lose situation. Somebody say in the comment section, oh he cheated to win. If, if Lufkin loses, of course he gonna blame it on Canelo in the positive test. So, you know basically it's a lose lose situation for Canelo. It's a win win for Golovkin. Y'all know what it is. It's TBC. Um, and you know we talk real trill boxes boxing talk. If you don't like that real shit, man, then don't don't even come this way, man. Anybody that's hating in the comment section, say nigger or whatever y'all be saying. I. I out of line, I'm blocking y'all, cutting y'all off, straight up. Racial slurs will not be tolerated. It's TBC, we out.